I'm not usually one to make impromptu videos like this, but here's the thing. There's a new bill that's just been introduced. It is called the Say Something Online Act. It aims to amend Section 230 of the Communications Decency Act to make online providers liable in the event that they do not report certain activities going on on their services. Now here's the problem. This might sound really great. This might sound like a wonderful anti-drug thing, whatever. But it's not. Because in theory it sounds good when you say, hey, people are doing these illegal things online. They're selling opiates and so on. And so, hey, why don't we get the people that are being used as the communication media to get those deals arranged? Why don't we have those people basically do our surveillance for us in that regard? Why don't we make them liable if they do not proactively report it? Here's the problem. What you end up with is a lot of reporting. And I mean a lot of reporting. It is not as simple as just, oh, this clear cut case where someone is very obviously arranging heroin sales through Facebook gets reported. No, you have the same thing that you had whenever they required that photography development labs start to report anything that may be child pornography to the government for prosecution. Well, the problem with that is that now anybody who has just a picture of their baby taking a bath gets reported because if the photographer lab doesn't do anything, they get in trouble. The person who is responsible for developing those photos can get thrown in prison if they don't report something that later turns out to be considered that. You get the idea. Now, take that and extend it to drugs. Extend it to any other thing. If you put these mandatory reporting laws in place, you will get overzealous reports. The intent is noble. The result is not noble. The result is fervent, excessive reporting. A lot of people who may not have done anything wrong will get reported for doing something Something wrong and that can be used to build the framework of a case against them even though they haven't done anything wrong because here you have to think about it this way take an action you do you do a thing do a thing doesn't matter what do a thing any action if you do this thing is it a good thing or a bad thing well when you did it it's probably a neutral thing whatever the thing may be but have someone else who recorded you do the thing and then frame it like I saw this and it looked like they were exchanging drugs. Like to shake your, let's say you shook your friend's hands. Oh, it looked like they were exchanging drugs. They didn't see you exchange drugs. It's just you shaking some guy's hand that you know. But the fact that somebody took a video of it and said, I'm concerned that they might be exchanging drugs. Well, there you go. So think about it. I gotta go. Someone's moping around outside and I don't like that.